Hello Vira users, Alex here, your Vira guide, and today I want to show you how to do a real wind simulation to your curtains in order to make them nice and windy and wavy in your interiors or exteriors. Of course, by using 3ds Max, V-Ray and some wind simulation options that 3ds Max got to offer. Right, so you can see I already was playing around and uh, trying out some curtains here. Uh, this is level one, uh, the clay model that I'm working now for the cubicle challenge and doing some over the shoulder. So this is going to be one of those over the shoulder techniques that I'm going to show you how to how to make those nice curtains. So you can see uh, those curtains have that animation of folding up and then the last frame they also kind of jumping to the a uh, little bit different position. This, uh, the last frame, frame 100, is the one that I actually adjust manually to get that shape that I'm looking for. So we need to select our collision options, uh, objects, that will be ceiling, walls, floor, and I have a column here. I'm going to put a curtain right here on that, on that spot. So I'm going to isolate here and I'm going to put a curtain just right there. Next thing, we got to go and we need to create our curtain. So we're going to call it plane. And that plane must not be inside the wall or touch the floor. Because if it's going to be inside our collision object, it will not simulate properly. So I'm going to lift it up, something like this, really close to the floor, but not inside the floor. And we got to make this plane to be a editable poly. If it will remain plain, I don't think you'll be able to do any animation with it. So, and let's just move this a little bit lower here, just to be inside our hole something like this all right and as you see here i already made a little a little placement for my curtains i want them to be hidden in the ceiling i don't want to uh, to have any sticks or anything sticking out so it's kind of minimalistic for that curtain to be placed. All right, so I'm going to position it somewhere here in the middle. And I'm going to create a cylinder to be attached to that. To my curtain. And the cylinder also have to have enough enough segments so 41 here is uh, is good enough now in order to get those nice foldings of the curtain we need to animate our curtain the holder that holds it actually so by clicking auto key and standing on frame 100 we're going to reduce the size about a little bit more than half something like this so from 117, I'm going to about 52, something like this. Maybe about 60. Yeah, somewhere here. Because if you do it really close, it's going to get a lot of those wrinkles. All right, so something like this would work. Now, next thing, we have to go and add cloth to my curtain cloth object properties and we're gonna add all the collision objects column wall ceiling cylinder and the floor and the plane is going to have cloth it's gonna be 25 25 Stretch 75, 75, 
shear of 2 to 5, density 01 and damping 0.1. Thickness is going to be 0.1. Replusion 2, air resistance 1, and dynamic friction 1, and self friction 5. Oops, 0.5. All right, and now we can do our column, ceiling, cylinder, all of those guys, floor, walls, all of them going to be collision objects. Okay, so we did that. Now what we need to do is go back to frame zero and select our curtain, go to group and select vertices. I'm about skipping one or two, just doing it randomly. Those are going to be my foldings. The way my curtain is going to get folded in while being attached to the curtain holder, to the rug. Okay, now after we did select them, we got to make group, call it cloth attachment, press OK, and do sticky surf by selecting our cylinder so you can see here our cloth attachment is the group is a sticky mesh to cylinder all right now we need to add wind so we're gonna go to forces wind I'm gonna place wind here oops this is going to be wind number three. Make sure your wind positioning the right direction. Snap tool E to rotation W to move it to the right position. All right, so we good to go and to do our animation, our simulation. So I'm going to select the cloth again. Oh, we need to add our wind. Otherwise, it will not be affected by the wind. So we'll click on cloth for the forces, add your wind and click simulate. Now we can see that our Rog is moving and it creates those nice foldings and the wind is blowing so our curtain gets kind of rising up on the wind and we get really nice realistic foldings here just because we had that nice and random selection all right so our simulation almost done Okay, so this is what we get. Now we can go ahead and design it by going to faces, simulate local and do the live drag. So I actually want the wind to come from this side. So I want to rise this part a little bit higher. So I'm going to select those guys and I'm going to pull it in like this. I'm going to select this here, I'm going to pull it in this here pull it in I want it to rise a little bit so if you do create those and you ruin your nice and smooth cloth don't worry about it because you can I'll show you how to relax this you can go back to cloth and do simulate local 
and just whatever you pulled will keep going in that direction and whoop just wanna freeze it just wanna find that perfect spot to freeze your curtain you can go back to faces simulate and live drag and drag it a little bit higher to go to this direction just like that and maybe a little, even a little bit more higher oh, like this it's good go back to cloth click local and you see it will keep going keep rising till it reaches the point it will straighten it up and we'll go back and somewhere here I want to keep simulating just to find that right direction of my of the wind to my curtain yes. all right and the last one I'm still not really satisfied with this guy so I'm gonna rise it up a little bit like this I'm gonna go back to cloth and do local that's it maybe a little bit more all right now if you want to have a little bit better geometry on this you can go ahead and add turbo smooth and increase the interpolation so you get really nice and smooth mesh maybe three is a little bit too much but we get a little bit nicer here Simulate local. I want to get rid of those. Those wrinkles here. Because they don't really look realistic to me. So you see it's pretty easy task. It's uh, nothing complicated. You just play with your uh, cloth simulation and live drag simulation just to get that really nice shape to your to your curtains to make it look nice and windy all right so somewhere about here is good i like that shape and we can now we can move this to the side just to have a really nice air coming in from my windows All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tip uh, and you're gonna use it in your daily work to make your interiors look more realistic than ever. Post your comments below and share it with your friends. This is Alex, your very guy. Talk soon. Ciao.